Metro police officers are learning some new ways now that they can use non-lethal force when they're at a scene. This is all aimed at diffusing certain situations which potentially could turn deadly. Yeah, tonight at 5, our Mary Mills shows us how they're using non-lethal launchers to save lives. Shots fired! Shots fired! Police face life and death situations on a regular basis. They must decide how to respond in the heat of the moment, especially when lives are threatened, including their own. Keep your hands out. When things escalate, that often includes use of deadly force, but IMPD also using alternatives in certain situations. Less lethal. Sergeant Michael Daly is a supervisor at IMPD's firearms training facility, where an increasing number of patrol officers are learning to use non-lethal weapons like this one. This is one of those tools that we're trying to say, hey, let's try to save people. Beanbag, beanbag, beanbag! Called non-lethal launchers, they're repurposed bean shotguns bag, that fire bag, soft bean rounds, bean small Kevlar bags filled with BBs meant to disable a person without causing significant harm. The officer is initially going to target the legs, the buttocks, in an effort to try to cause some pain compliance from that individual. The non-lethal launchers, not meant for active shooters, but for someone who's, say, intoxicated or having a mental health crisis and armed. A person uh, naked, in the middle of the street, has a knife, threatening to kill himself. How do we help that person as police without putting ourselves in jeopardy where they could kill us? And to avoid any confusion between lethal and non-lethal shotguns? Every IMPD less lethal shotgun will have the orange stock on the front and in the back, and then it's written less lethal. And officers issued non-lethal launchers no longer allowed to have regular shotguns or shotgun ammunition in their patrol cars. They also have to call dispatch before not just deploying the rifle, but removing it from Plus the car. Lethal. So far, 350 officers have Plus been lethal. outfitted with the non-lethal guns. Unlike a taser or mace, Mary tells us those non-lethal shotguns can be fired from 40 feet away. They're loud and those bags will hurt. Daly said it's like being hit with a baseball going 90 miles an hour. It's fast enough to break a hand holding a gun.